Well, good morning, guys. Thank you for joining us on the Valder BB Show live from Dallas, Texas. Are you guys RVing today? Uh, we are in my RV. We're not actually RVing. Just got back from a trip, so it's a little downtime before we head out again. Well, and I want my kids are out of school in a week, and we leave for... All right. Well, welcome, Keith Sims and Jeremy Puglisi. You guys are going to give us some Father's Day bonding tips. You know Father's Day is Sunday, so we need a little help here. All right? If I could start with you, Keith. All right. Give us some bonding tips. Well, go RVing. Take your kids out there. That's something I've discovered the last couple of years is just father-son weekend trips. I didn't grow up camping. I didn't grow up fishing. But now I'm discovering that with my own kids and introducing them to a lifestyle that they, they I wasn't exposed to. So I kind of get to live vicariously through their exploring excursions. Yeah, also get them out into nature. I mean, there's so much research now that shows that kids grow up stronger, more emotionally strong, more creative when you get them out into the natural world and peel them away from the television and all the digital devices. So we love to go take the RV to national parks and hike and bike and kayak and challenge ourselves physically. So like, I know my boys are growing up very strong, very healthy, and I attribute the RV tra that, that to the RV travel that we do. Okay, I think RVing is a great idea. Uh, this is so different than a lot of us grew up with our fathers. My father worked all the time. Great guy, provided a great living, but he worked all the time. Fathers have a different role, it seems, today. So how can we make these memories last for these kids, guys? I'll give you a perfect example. My dad was the same way. He worked two or three jobs, five kids he was taking care of with, with my mom. But I have a picture from when I was three years old, and it's in front of Mammoth Cave in Kentucky, me and my brothers and sisters and my dad. And I don't remember that trip, but it always stuck in my mind. Well, this weekend, my wife and I took our three little boys to Kentucky, Mammoth Cave, and we recreated that picture. And we talked to my boys about, now this is something that's going to be a tradition for our family. I, my dad took me, uh, you, I took you, now you got to take your kids as well. So it's those building those memories that you can do in our being. We also get our kids involved in the trip planning. So they're really interested in American history and presidential history. So they asked to go to Gettysburg. You know, so we planned a trip to Gettysburg in the RV uh, around their interests. So... Um, that's a great way to do it as well, to let them pick where you're going. Those are some great ideas. Let me ask you, though, as fathers, how are you feeling about doing this? I was so apprehensive about, this is my wife's idea, about getting to RVing. So she took me and directed me to GoRVing.com. I was able to check out the website, learn about RVing, campgrounds, read some blogs. They have a great tool there that you can figure out what RV fits best for your family. You know, I'm kind of a big guy and being in a small confined space was something that was a little concerning. But I'm here to tell you, it's changed my life, it's changed my wife's life, and obviously my kids' lives. We're closer as a family together and we absolutely love it. I fall in love with the lifestyle. It is transformative, and I'd say to all the dads out there, don't wait. You know, the kids grow up really fast. It feels just like my eight-year-old twins were born yesterday, and now they're, you know, going into third grade. So time does fly by fast. So if you've been thinking about it, I would really get a little bit more serious and do it now while they're young, because before you know it, they're going to be out of the house, which is nice in one way, but then you're going to miss all those great memories you could make on an RV trip. I like that you guys are so connected into what is present because the present is all that we have. I love that. You guys are just really, uh, I'm so glad you were my guest today. You are helping us to understand fatherhood, and you're mirroring that for us also, too. Now, if we want to do some RV, you know, where would you guys send us on the web? Oh my gosh, it's, it's wherever you want to go. The RV can take you to the mountains. It can take you to the beach. It can take you to cities. There are great campgrounds in all 50 states in America. I mean, we live in such a big, beautiful country, and that's a big part of the shared experience I want to have with my kids. And go to GoRVing.com for lots of travel inspiration, yeah. right? You could read Keith's blog posts. You could read my blog posts. Get all kinds of um, inspiration for where to take the RV. And it's really like choose your own adventure. Follow your bliss. Wherever you want to go, the RV will take you there. And one of the things we've discovered as dads, it allows us to do weekend getaways with just our boys and have that father and son time. Give the wife a break, a, break mm -hmm. a little bit for the weekend, and we can bank that that uh, little time away for football season when I want to watch games. We also camp together, and I get to meet other dads like Keith that are like-minded and really want to have that those strong memories with their own kids and sh share the same values that we share. All right, then. Well, you know, we got to throw some girls in the mix, so take those girls out there, RV, and we like to be outside, too, now, guys. <laughs> I've got one daughter, 
She's 21 in college, but she loves coming in the RV with her brothers, experiencing her favorite. Your mother-in-law owns an RV. Well, yeah, that's true, too. My mother-in-law owns and She comes around as well. But uh, my daughter loves to RV with us, especially when we're heading down to, to Florida to Disney World. That's her favorite trip. There's a whole movement of women that camp together without their husbands, without their spouses, uh, the girl campers. Or you could check out an organization called Sisters on the Fly. And these women tow their own RVs and take care of their own RVs. And they have an amazing time. But fr- frankly, I'm jealous of them sometimes. I love that. I really love that. I want to thank you guys for the inspiration, and I want to thank you for the role modeling. Thank you very much for being my guest on oh. the Elder BB Show today. Thank you for having us. Our pleasure. And just go RV and come out and join us. I know. I got to get my husband outdoors. He's not a he's not an outdoors guy, but I might have to take him out there. Definitely, just we'll drag see him. You, out. We'll see you at the campground. Thank you so much.